Have you heard the phrase, if these walls could talk? It's a common thing people say. Of course, walls can't really tell you what they've seen, but sometimes they hide things behind them that could tell you what secrets a house is hiding. From witch bottles to precious artworks, here are 20 strange things discovered behind homeowners' walls. Number 20. Urine and Teeth In 2019, a construction crew stumbled upon an unexpected find while demolishing a former inn's chimney. A bottle full of the most unimaginable things, human teeth, shards of glass, and an unidentified liquid that surely no one dared to touch. You would think that this bottle is just someone's sick prank, but this horrible concoction is something common across the European continent, with several being discovered in old buildings, churchyards, and riverbanks. But what exactly are they, and what is their purpose? Well, these are called witch bottles. As the name suggests, these items have their roots in the world of folklore and protective magic. They were typically made from stoneware or glass and were believed to protect against malevolent witchcraft. Between the 16th and 17th centuries, the majority of Europe was taken over by fear of witches and the supernatural. Along with the spread of what people believed was dark magic was the increase in popularity of witch bottles. In fear that they would soon be the victim of witches, many used empty bottles and all sorts of charms, including human hair, urine, nail clippings, thorns, and other sharp objects. As sinister as these objects may sound, the witch bottle is nothing more than a protective talisman meant to repel or trap malicious spells and negative energy. The belief was that by placing these items inside the bottle and burying it near your home's entrance or in hearths and chimneys, you'd capture the evil spirits, drawing them into the bottle and neutralizing their power. But today, witch bottles are nothing but macabre remains left behind at a time when Europe was taken over by immense fear. So if you live in Europe and suddenly discover this within the premises of your home, then just know that its past owner most likely just wanted to protect the house from evil spirits. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. More Teeth Here's another bizarre find involving human teeth, this time in Valdosta, Georgia. While renovating a building, a team of construction workers once again made an astonishing discovery nearly 1,000 human teeth. The teeth were discovered behind a wall on the building's second floor, and needless to say, the workers weren't prepared for what they saw. The authorities and workers were all stunned as to how the teeth ended up behind the building's walls. Is this just a madman's collection? Not quite. After checking the establishment's history, it was found that the room was used as a dentist office for almost a hundred years. Its first occupant was Dr. Clarence Whittington, a dentist who started his practice in 1900. But things got weirder when buildings nearby also underwent renovations, and several teeth were also found within their walls. It seemed like storing teeth in your own office's walls was something normal back then. Well, today, if a tooth is extracted, it's considered medical waste, and a specialized medical waste management system safely disposes of it. But perhaps, back then, regulated medical waste systems like the ones we have today didn't exist, but these dentists may have had no choice but to dispose of extracted teeth by placing them in the gaps of their walls. It's quite a surprise for modern renovators or historians when they stumble upon this unexpected dental collection, but the authorities at Valdosta decided to roll with it, and even dared the locals to guess exactly how many teeth they found in exchange for a hundred bucks. Number 18. A Woodpecker's Hoard Earlier this year, a Californian exterminator stumbled upon quite an unexpected treasure. It's not a precious artifact, but rather, 700 pounds of acorns painstakingly collected by one hard-working woodpecker. The problem is that this food storage was found inside the walls of a home in California. The acorns discovered were stacked some 20 feet from floor to attic of the house, and you can only imagine just how many acorns the woodpecker has collected. Unfortunately for the poor bird, the stash it collected for months is now back to zero as the exterminators gathered the acorns and dumped them. If it wasn't for the tiny worms coming out of the walls of their home, the couple living there wouldn't have known that the acorns were there to begin with. You see, creatures like woodpeckers, squirrels, mice, and other small animals in the wild like preparing for the future, and I'm talking about the harsh winter season. This particular woodpecker, for instance, drilled into the wood in hopes of creating a safe stash. Unfortunately, the bird picked the wrong spot, but at least the exterminators confirmed that the animal was safe. The bird needed to start over in finding food for the winter, and hopefully it found a better hiding spot. Number 17. Spooky Doll with a Warning 
These days, you really have to be careful about where you move in. You'll never know if a home is only great at face value. For instance, in 2021, a British man discovered something quite chilling in the walls of the home he just purchased. After obtaining the house, Jonathan Lewis decided to look around and realized that on the second level was a hollow wall. There was a wire coming out where the previous owners had the fridge, so he decided to break down the wall, and there, he discovered a creepy doll that looked like it had been there waiting for someone to finally find it. But that's not even the worst part. Jonathan was already spooked when he punched a hole in the plaster and saw a glimpse of a doll's eye looking back at him. And he felt chills run down his spine when he saw an unsettling note that read, Dear reader slash new homeowner, thank you for freeing me. My name is Emily. My original owners lived in this house in 1961. I didn't like them, so they had to go. All they did was sing and be merry. It was sickening. Stabbing was my choice of death for them, so I hope you have knives. Hope you sleep well. Imagine reading this letter with a creepy doll on a chair looking back at you. Jonathan was creeped out initially, but after examining the letter, he realized that perhaps he didn't buy a haunted house. It's just that the previous owners decided to play a prank on the next owner. The letter, while containing a sinister message, didn't look like it was written from 1961. Pretty obvious from the paper and the suspicious emoji they included. And the doll? Well, she seems pretty harmless if you look at her. And to be fair, unlike those dolls they use in horror movies, this one doesn't really make me uncomfortable. But just to be safe, I hope Jonathan disposed of it and burned the letter. Just to be sure. Number 16. 80,000 Bees In 2019, a family in Granada, Spain had been enduring the bizarre buzzing and vibrating noise coming from behind their bedroom wall for over a year. One day, they decided enough was enough and finally tore down a portion of their bedroom wall. It turned out that a huge portion of the wall was the home to a massive bee colony, numbering over 80,000 honeybees. Fortunately, they contacted a beekeeper for the job, so the man knew what he had to do. Even for an expert, 80,000 was an astounding number of bees to relocate. He deduced that based on the colony's size, the swarm had been living in the walls for at least two years. A considerable colony such as this isn't that much of a surprise since a queen can easily lay up to 1,400 eggs a day. The beekeeper shared that he's helped remove over half a million bees from people's properties. And if there's one thing he could advise, it's for people to never attempt to remove beehives on their own. So if any of you guys know someone who has a bee problem, Advise them to call a professional to safely relocate the bees. Number 15. Mummified Rat and Cats I guess you can really say that you're a cat person if a mummified cat still looks adorable to you. That's me, I'm referring to myself. This bizarre mummified figure was found sealed into the walls of an old Welsh cottage. The cat was so well preserved that it still had its teeth and claws, and its shape was still pretty much intact. Now you're probably thinking about how the cat ended up behind the wall of a shop. In some parts of Europe, there was a belief that sealing a cat behind your wall would effectively ward off evil spirits. Witchcraft and folklore experts shared that hundreds of years ago, cats were deliberately sealed alive in the walls of establishments. It was meant to keep away witches, evil eyes, bad luck, and any vermin who wanted to enter the premises. This mummified cat is just one of several found across Europe. Fortunately, this cruel practice stopped centuries ago. Hopefully, these feline companions will forever remain safe and well-fed in people's homes. Number 14. Oil from Walls If you saw suspicious oil-like liquid randomly seeping out of your house's walls, what would be your initial response? If you asked homeowners George and Lena Tanis, you'd find that their initial belief was that the oil was a divine gift from God. In 2018, the story of the couple spread on the internet. The duo claimed that ash and oil leaked from their walls, which is utterly unexplainable, and that there be no other origin except a holy miracle. But that's not the only reason they claim the oil is miraculous. Not only did the liquid have healing properties, but it also helped an allegedly infertile couple finally get pregnant. There are even claims that the oil cured a woman with cancer. These are unbelievable claims, but there are other reasons why people have come to believe the miraculous in the Tannis family's home. The time when the oil first appeared coincided when George and Lena's 17-year-old son, Mike, was killed in a car accident. This was back in 2009, and since then, the oil has seeped through their home's walls, and the couple believed that it was the manifestation of their son's spirit. The couple even shared that they found their son's birthday written on the walls. 
The boy had always been religious and throughout his short life continuously carried a rosary around and even had a cross tattooed on his back. This is a pretty compelling story already, but there's also the fact that the Tannis family never really tried to gain attention, money, or influence. With the number of visitors they get each year, the majority of them desperate for a miracle, it wouldn't be hard for the couple to charge money, but they never did. For this reason, many believe that their intentions are pure and their claims aren't motivated by anything other than sharing what they think is the truth and helping people. Number 13. 300-Year-Old Shoes A maintenance crew at St. John's College at the University of Cambridge in England made an unexpected find behind a wall, a well-worn but well-preserved left shoe. With the shoes stayed and make, experts believe it's about 300 years old. By today's standards, this left shoe would be about a men's size 6. This shoe is similar to the mummified cat I showed you earlier, except that this is an inanimate object that wasn't alive when it was sealed behind the wall. Apparently, some places in Europe believe that aside from cats, shoes also do a pretty great job at warding off evil magic. The building was initially built between 1598 and 1602, but experts claimed that the shoe might have been inserted within one of the walls around the end of the 17th to the 19th century. I guess it's safe to say that many Europeans prior to the 20th century had a strong belief in evil spirits. Number 12. First Edition Superman Comic You don't need to be a comic book enthusiast or a collector to realize just how expensive a first edition comic book would be, especially if it features one, if not the most popular superhero character to date. The world first met Superman in June 1938, thanks to artist Joe Shuster and writer Jerry Siegel. This superhero first appeared in the first edition of an anthology, Action Comics No. 1. It was a massive hit upon its release, but for some strange reason, someone decided to stash it in the walls of his house and use it as insulation. Well, I guess it wasn't that expensive at the time, but perhaps someone's grandfather or father at the time picked up the comic around the house and thought it would be a cheap replacement for an actual insulator. Fast forward to 2013, a man named David Gonzalez who worked as a remodeler, bought a house for $10,100. It was a rundown house that needed a bit of work, but he was already a remodeler, so he was confident that he could quickly renovate the place and make it a new home. It turned out to be the best investment he made. While removing the walls, he noticed an Action Comics number no. 1 copy in astonishingly good condition. After a quick bit of research, he immediately recognized its value, and after putting it up in an auction, bids immediately reached as high as a staggering $127,000. If only the comic were in better condition, it could have easily netted $2,161,000. This piece of paper turned out to be more expensive than the house. Number 11. A Secret Room In 2021, a woman named Samantha was surprised when she discovered an empty apartment behind her bathroom walls. Yep, you heard that right. Samantha first noticed cold air that seemingly came from nowhere in her bathroom. She deduced that there should be a source for the cold air. After examining every nook and cranny of her bathroom, she found a small hole behind her mirror. And there, she found another apartment. Most people would probably contact the authorities in fear of finding something sinister in this secret room. But not Samantha, no. She decided to explore the space using a makeshift headlamp. Fortunately, she found nothing in the space aside from a water bottle and piping. There were only theories and speculations trying to explain what the secret room was for, with some people on the internet claiming that the room was probably hidden because of a sanitation, renovation, or plumbing concern that the past landlords didn't want to bother with. Hopefully, this is the case. Number 10. World War Letters In 2014, a hired contractor discovered a heartwarming discovery behind the bathroom walls of a home he was supposed to renovate. Several letters dated back to July 1918 were exchanged by two lovers named Clement and Mary. The letters described the love and passion of two people who tried their utmost best to keep a connection with each other, even through tumultuous and chaotic times. The discovery of the letters prompted the homeowners to find the relatives of Clement and Mary. You'd be happy to know that the couple's relatives confirmed that yes, the two ended up being married, and they lived a happy life. It was still a mystery as to how the letters ended up within the walls of the house, but everyone was just happy that the letters were well preserved. Number 9. Snake Infestation A 42-year-old mother named Amber bought a new four-bedroom, two-bathroom home in Centennial, Colorado, thinking that it would finally be a safe and pleasant place she could settle into. 
but she was horrendously wrong about that. Less than two weeks after buying the house with her entire life savings, she found her dog staring at the back wall of her garage. Upon examining it further, she discovered a snake coiled up next to the door, and when she put her hand on the wall above, she could feel the warmth of what she believed were other snakes as well. It turned out that the home she bought was infested with snakes. The family grew wary about the snakes in the walls of their home and came to fear going to the bathroom as the reptiles could easily slither their way up to the toilet. The family had to hire a snake wrangler to humanely remove the snakes from the house, costing them a hefty $1,000. What's crazier was that the Wrangler claimed some of the snakes he found looked like they'd been living in the establishment for around two years. Another theory proposed by a pest control expert suggests the existence of a potential snake den beneath the garage. Meanwhile, the real estate coordinator claimed they had no idea about the snake infestation, and if they did, they would have told Amber about it. Unfortunately for Amber, she's in a tough spot. It's rough, she shared with her local news station. This is my first home. I've worked my whole life for it, and I can't enjoy it. My kids can't enjoy it. I'm scared to death. She added that she's unsure if she will ever feel safe in her home until the issue is completely resolved. Number 8. Live Korean War Missile In 2011, 70-year-old William Whitman decided to remodel their bathroom. He tore open a wall to pull out some old insulation, and there, he found something unexpected. Not a comic worth hundreds of dollars, but rather a missile a live 20-inch missile from the Korean War era. Fortunately, the man and his wife remained calm. They walked the missile outside and put it in their detached garage before calling the authorities. A bomb squad entered and did a controlled and safe detonation in the distance. Despite being so far away, the townsfolk claimed they could hear the loud blast. The 70-year-old claimed that before they lived in the house, it was owned by a World War veteran who might have stashed the missiles in the walls. Luckily, everyone was safe. Number 7. $182,000 An Illegal Problem A contractor found around $182,000 in Depression-era currency hidden in a bathroom wall of a home he renovated. After stumbling upon the stashes of cash, he thought he'd hit the jackpot. He even posed with the money along with the owner of the house, but this sparked a legal nightmare that lasted for years. The contractor, named Bob, couldn't seem to agree with the homeowner, Amanda, on how to split the money. Additionally, 21 descendants of Patrick Dunn, the wealthy businessman who hid the money, were added to the list of people who needed to receive their fair share in the discovery. The attorney of the Dunn estate said that the hefty sum could have been split between Amanda and Bob alone, but since they couldn't agree on anything, the two went to court, and now they need to give a share to 21 more people. I guess that's just the worst-case scenario for the two of them. If you were in control of this situation, how would you have Amanda and Bob split the money? 50-50? 70-30? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Number 6. Construction Worker Finds Ouija Board Several construction workers discovered a Ouija board behind the walls of a home they were renovating. Before they could do anything else, people on the internet immediately warned them not to touch it. This time, they listened, so this discovery ended on an average note. In a horror movie, you'd best believe the people who discovered the board would have messed with it. Luckily, the workers were smarter. Number 5. Brown Recluse Spiders If pest control couldn't solve an infestation, then you know that it's time to either leave your house, have it demolished, or burn it to a crisp. This was probably a passing thought to Brian and Susan Trost, who bought a $450,000 home overlooking two golf holes at Whitmore Country Club in October 2007. The problem was that after moving in, they started seeing brown recluse spiders everywhere, and they described it as if and I quote, the spiders were bleeding out of the walls. The infestation was so bad that two pest control companies couldn't eradicate the infestation. While a brown recluse has a very poisonous venom that can cause cell death and damage to blood vessels, it isn't usually a problem because they can only inject small doses. The problem is when your entire house is literally riddled with these tiny venomous arachnids, you'll never know when one could decide to bite you. Number 4. Toxic Mold if you've recently moved into a new house and suddenly you're not feeling well or experiencing unexplained sickness, then perhaps you should look around and see if there are any signs of mold. Yep, you heard that right. You might be experiencing a similar case to a young couple with a two-year-old daughter. 
Jason and Carrie bought a five-bedroom, two-bath house in foreclosure for $75,000 in Greenville, South Carolina. In case you're thinking, but that offer is too good to be true, of course there's a catch. This was back in 2005 when the housing market wasn't that horrendous. It turned out that this sweet deal came with a price. Shortly after moving in, the family contracted a bizarre sickness. While doing a cleanup, they found a fake wall compartment behind some bookcases and found a hidden room. There, they found a letter from the previous homeowner who claimed they had to move out of the house because of the serious mold problem that made his children incredibly sick. The toxic mold turned out to be a long-term problem in the house, and its past tenant figured that it would be easier and cheaper to just sell the house and move out. I guess it was nice for the past homeowners to tell the new owners about the toxic mold, but if they really did have a good heart, they would have told the family long before they moved in. Number 3. The Six-Year-Old Boy In 2007, a young boy named Richard disappeared from his home along with his mother, Shannon. The two-year-long search was done by authorities to find the boy, who many believe was abducted, but the young boy was nowhere to be found despite extensive search. Many believe the young boy would never be located, but in 2009, the six-year-old was discovered hidden behind a wall at his grandmother's house in southern Illinois. A custodial battle between the parents drove the boy to seek refuge behind the walls, with the father seeking to care for his son while the mother was equally resistant to it. Two people in a bad marriage have all the right to split, but it's tragic to see their young ones stuck and caught up in messy adult relationships. But seriously, why would anyone think hiding a kid behind a wall is a good idea? Number 2. The Hidden Bathroom A Redditor shared a hidden bathroom behind the wall of his newly rented apartment. What's bizarre is that the toilet was still clean, a box of tissues was still in the bathroom, and the entire space looked relatively well-maintained. The Redditor claimed they had no idea as to what or how an entire bathroom ended up sealed behind the wall, and so they asked the help of other Redditors to figure out what happened. Just like the hidden room I talked about earlier, many believed that the bathroom was sealed because of unpermitted water lines and drains. Architects on the thread shared that this is apparently more common than people think. Most landlords or homeowners planning to rent or sell their properties simply seal the problematic bathroom as a cheap fix rather than removing the entire thing. And now, it's time for today's topic. Woman leaves house to neighbor. His mouth falls open when he sees what's inside. A man received an entire house from her neighbor, who was a widow. It was a shabby and run-down building, and he didn't expect to find much inside. One day, he decided to inspect the house and found something that he could not have imagined even in his wildest dreams. Stashed in the wooden walls of the house were bills that were neatly stacked together and wrapped in plastic. The man shared his discovery on an online forum, and needless to say, many couldn't believe the man's claim. However, he attested that he didn't have a reason to lie. His dilemma is that he knows that the woman left behind two adult sons. He shared that the two were no longer in contact with her mother long before she died, but he felt obligated to share the money he found with the two siblings. What's your take on this? Should he keep the find to himself? Or find the woman's living relatives? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Number 1. Traces of Da Vinci Mural after noticing a crack in a 16th century fresco painted on the wall of one of Florence's most famous buildings, researchers are on the hunt to find a lost mural created by da Vinci himself. The said mural is suspected to be hidden behind a fresco done by Giorgio Vasari. This suspected artwork is titled The Battle of Anghiari, a painting that Leonardo began creating in 1505 to commemorate the 15th century victory by Florence over Milan at the medieval Tuscan town of Anghiari. If this painting turns out to really be hidden behind the fresco, then this would be added to one of the many legacies of Leonardo da Vinci. Perhaps some of you guys also have your own stories to share. Feel free to do so in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.